If there's one thing you probably know about Ghanaians is that we are very hospitable and we love spices. So today I am here at the Spice Headquarters, Nima, Accra, Ghana, and I'm just here to learn about the different spices that we have and what it is used for. And of course, I'm bringing you guys along. So if you're ready, let's get right into the video. here and welcome back to my channel today i am at nima i am here with my sister sister rafia she's going to take us through the different types of spices that we have and what it is used for and just her daily routine here in the market um sister rafia sanda rana okay so what i just said is good afternoon and she responded uh, afternoon. afternoon kind of <laughs> in Hausa, right yes yeah in Hausa. so yeah take us to the different spices that we have and what it is used for another counselor hey jesus <laughs> Yeah, well, Nima, Cecilia, Mr. Rafia is yeah, more comfortable yeah. with the local dialect, which is the tree. So I'm going to be switching from tree to English. So please bear with me, guys. Okay, Mr. Rafia, um, Cecilia, I'm out. So we'll have a tray tray. Spices, no, yeah. We must watch the come and come and come and come and come and Trying a beer in the idea and now sending a yen no idea because hey, what the minimum say, make home a powdered pepper. So this one is powdered pepper and this one is shrimps, right? Powdered shrimps, monk. Very nicely. Um, and then we have cinnamon here. So this is the steak, cinnamon steak. Can you open it? You see where it was. Where's the idea to say that? Where's the other spices? No, the other spices. Oh, okay. I used to not like cinnamon for some strange reason. I started making and then now I cannot get enough of cinnamon. I just love the scent and like baby powder. <laughs> okay, see. So say I try try. Coriander. 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 So this one is coriander. Okay. 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 So this one is honey seed. Okay. This is coriander, honey seed. This one is also for spicing chicken yes. stews and stuff like that. But a uh, what? Because me name say we so good. You know what? You two peppers people. It's when you are what a dear back where you see man and I is just for general spices. Okay. And I'm say over to me add the garlic, the ginger. No problem. No, no worries. This one is you said coriander. Hmm. This is no. This is coriander. Honey seed. Okay, so this one is used for steaming your meat. You add a little ginger, garlic, and then you blend it. Rare. Oh, okay, so this is rare. rare. Wow. Where the soup? Right. Okay. Honey seed. Okay, so this one is called rare. rare. Where was the Olonkaya is 17. So this is Olonka. This is what they use to measure the spice. They have this size. They have, you have half Olonka. No, I don't have Olonka. This one is three. You have to look. Okay. So usually they have half Olonka, but this is what they use to measure the half Olonka. Olonka is six cups. This is one cup. Six of this will give you Olonka one. Okay. So if you want half of the Olonka, they will give you three of this one. And this is the half. Uh, this is quarter. This is half. 
yes. half of one cup. cup yes. Okay. So this is half of one cup, and you have the smaller one, and then you have the very, very small one. So just depending on the size that you want, they are going to price it for you. Okay, so this one is called alligator pepper. I've never heard that before. Where are they there? Sorry. Yeah. Pepe. Uh, uh, pepe. Ah, it's so good. Uh, so oh, bolo, okay. Uh, spicy. Ah. Okay, so this is also for sobolo, like spices for sobolo. It's called alligator pepper. I don't really smell anything, but and it, it's uh, spicy, like it's hot. Okay, all right, and then. This one is very rare, rare, I've told you already. This is used for soup. This one is with cumin. Cumin? Yes. Shall the spices be a crack? This one is called cumin. It is spices. And also, this is for a namone adeno. See you. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it smells like. Um, oh, I say in red, be me red thing. Okay, so this is kiwi. 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 Oh, okay, not kiwi, sorry. Kiwi is a fruit. This one is spices. Kiwi. This is used for your soups, your stews. And what particular, and I say it's just like for normal spices. Normal spices. Okay, and the next one here, I see bay leaf. Bay leaf is my favorite spice, you know. If you know, you know, you know, there's some other things to bay leaf, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share that later. <laughs> This Afia is laughing, it's like she knows eh? <laughs> Who knew more? Uh -huh. If you know, let me know in the comment section If you know what bay leaf is used for apart from spices Let me know in the comment section But uh, this one I know you can use for your soup It just gives you the nice flavor for your jollof rice You know when you're cooking that authentic Ghanaian jollof rice just put in a little bit of bay leaves it will give you like a delicious flavor <laughs> Sarafia is laughing you can put it in your soup in your stew in your meat you just leave it there like you leave it in the food and then you just take it out when you're ready to eat so I don't think anybody chews them in the food but if you want to chew you can chew it in your food and then where are they? Um Prekese. Debbie. Doing a This is called Nebua for dinner. Ha, sometimes. Wentia no. Eh. Oh, it's not pepper corn. Is it like Okay, so this is called Quintia. Um okay, I've forgotten oh, the English name. Oh, I think it's pepper corn. I'm not too sure. Oh, I should know. Okay, if you know the English name of Printia, let me know in the comment section. This is also used for, you can use this to spice your drinks, right? Yes. Yes, this is mainly used for spicing drinks. And soup? No. Not for soup. No. Medicine. Okay, yeah. you can use this also in your medicines, like the, you know, the concussions that people make. In your porridge, and okay. This one too is okay, so we have the next one here. This one is cloves. What did we pick cloves from? Yeah. Yes. Medicinal purpose is one. Like it's very good for your concussion. So you know. If you want to do some your like manpower concussions. You should definitely have some cloves in. You should have some quintia, pepper corn in. Oh, I see your friend is fennel. Fennel. All right. This is called fennel. What is this? We are here. So we have spices. And also too, spices uh, like soup, stews, and stuff like that. This honey seed. Star honey seed. Star honey seed. I think I know, I know the stars too. It smells really nice. Oh gosh. This spice 
I've used this in my spices before. You know, I also, I make like my own natural spices. I go to the women. When you want spices, just come to Nima. Nima is the headquarters of spice. I don't know how these ladies like have all the spices that they have and they know what it is used for. So if you want spices, my sister Rafia is here. Come to Nima and she will get you all the spices that you want. They call this the star honey seed because it's shaped like a star, you see? Okay, so you can use this in your regular spices, stew, soups, uh, and other stuff. This is the famous turmeric. I didn't know it was like this. I called that Oh, one. and this is the powder one. If you know turmeric, I know turmeric because I use it often on my face. It has like these amazing benefits for your skin. If you can see my skin glowing, you know, it's turmeric and some aloe vera. Maybe I should do a video on that, okay? Let me know if you want to know how I get my glowing skin. <laughs> Turmeric can be used in anything, anything, your rice, if you want to have a little color to your rice, you can definitely use turmeric in your stew, in your soup, to, I think you can use, this is, this is the same as the curry powder, yes. alright, so this is curry powder, okay, that we know, anyway, let's move on to the next spice, the next thing we have is ginger, I'm sure you all know the benefits of ginger, like, ginger is a spice that we've been using since, you know 18 since 12 32 or something <laughs> so ginger you can use it in your stew in your drinks your early morning um, lemon water for whatever anything you want to cook you can put ginger in it has actually no limit to what you can use it for the next spice that we have is turmeric also but this one is the local type of turmeric it's, uh, it's also yellowish you can use it on your face as part of your skincare routine um, in your stew in your soup just as you would use the foreign turmeric this one is also ginger dried ginger um as raffia Okay, this is the powdered ginger, organic powdered ginger. Man, so I wear them. So will only be well. Not an away, my yam. Wear a powder one, and this one is cut. This one is the flower. Okay. So these are all bisab leaves. This one is the flower. Raw, nothing done to it. This is what we use for the Ghanaian authentic drink called Sobolo. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. I'll make a video on how it's made in my subsequent um, videos. This is the raw flower. These ones are cut into smaller pieces and then you have the blended one here. So it just depends on what you want or how you want it you buy according to your choice. I've never seen black rose. It's white. And now white. Oh, okay. But where you find it? Bagara. Where your house are? Okay, so this is called Bagara. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And it's used for stomach eggs. Uh, females that have candidiasis, what we call white in Ghana. This is your spice. How do you use it? Over using it. Over boiling. No one knows anything. Oh, okay. So you boil this together with um, pepper. This is uh, cloves. Together with cloves, and then you just drink the water, and you are healed forever. You know, that is the power of spices for you. This is called fenugreek. So this and the fennel seed are all in the same group of spices and I heard that if you if you're giving birth and you don't have breast milk you just need to boil a bit of this one and drink the water and you have yourself some you know bobby milk breast milk for your baby so that is the one health benefit 
is dried okra. You yes. mentioned another name. What's it? Kubu wa busheshe. That is says kubu wa busheshe. Kuto wa. Kube wa. This is called kube wa busheshe. Okay. <laughs> It is literally just dried okra. Okay, this is what they use for the tioza feed, the green soup, right? Yeah. They add this to the uh, green soup. Ayoyo. Ayoyo. They add this to. We have kubo busheshe and kubo ayoyo. Yeah, they add this to ayoyo and then make your green soup for the tea. And if you've ever tasted tea, that the green soup, this is what they add to it: dried okra. Okay, then we have uh, garlic powder. Hey, garlic powder. <laughs> yeah. Then we have garlic powder here. We all know the benefit of garlic. Garlic. It's a, it's a well, uh, first of all, thank you for taking us through the schooling here. And but then we start time when na ushedra. By the time when I am mobile. We don't even come up and say na ushedra. Okay, kasa. So, <laughs> okay, so her friends are really giving her fast. <laughs> so what she's saying is that she likes to talk. As you can see, she really likes to converse and talk while she's arranging her stuff. She gets there like seven, but she will finish arranging everything and ready for market around 10 a.m. Yeah, that's the kind of person that she is because she takes her time to arrange it. As you can see, like it's neatly arranged. She believes that how you present your stuff for market, that is how you're going to get the market. So as she takes her time to arrange it and make it nicely, that is how people will come to her and buy the stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's how I'm going to work on. They come by 4, 5. Okay, by 5, she goes from here. And they say they go how many hours now? What do they have to say? Park their own bongo. And then they can come up with food. So when it comes to the parking, she doesn't waste time. She packs everything very quickly and then just leave for the house. Okay, Sarafia, how do you... Who parking here, man? Who parking is here? How do you park it? Okay, you need to wrap up, no? So she puts this into a sack. There's a sack here into a sack. She puts two of these into one sack and then she changes the rubber every Monday. So every week, just so that you know the rubber is still strong enough to hold the spices, and then the kaya here people come and pack it into the warehouse, and she starts the next day in the morning. Now, what well, a personal question is like a day? Say market in Japan, we never say say. I don't dare enko. I don't dare enko. I don't enko. Open say. Open say. I'm by phone and come. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Rafia is afraid of the Ghanaian witches, so she's unwilling to share the details of how much she earns. But she was telling me off camera that it is good, you know, you know, and um, the times that is not good, she doesn't really care. When she comes, she just prays and then leave everything to God. If the market is good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. She's not really concerned about, you know, making money today, 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 today. And you are telling us your name. What's your full name? My name is Rafia to Wahab Lampard. Lampard. I like that name. Rafia to Wahab Lampard. Okay. So she's been very kind to us. <laughs> All the people around are just laughing at her, but she's going to be our star for today, okay? So make sure you're liking this video. And if you want to buy from her, when you come to Nima Market where they have the Aqua, Madina station. Madina station, okay. Madina station, just at the station there, 
you have her spice business located there so please come to her and buy all your spices that you need she's very very friendly as you can see she likes to talk <laughs> Yes, I don't want to smell. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, you see? Yes. 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 It's me. I accept everything. Okay. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Make sure to check out my other videos. I'll put the link in the description box. Until the next video, take care and remember, life is short. You got to live your truth. Bye. <laughs> so this is rosemary and that's why we're not on the So this is called Olonka in Ghana and it says 16 cities. This way and then you oops <laughs> Okay I was trying guys Yay! Ah, <laughs> <laughs>